affect okay. where I'm in there, and I, I can see where I'm at, you know, and I make my changes as I see the goggles. Okay. But other than that, yeah. And then you actually making left and right with your fingers. Yeah, yeah. Got it. There's two different modes you have to learn, too, because we, we all, like, I, when I started off, we started off with the stabilization, so you have the, the PID controller um, keeping you stable in the air, right? Yeah. Whereas, so you make a, a stick movement, right? Like this, you know, where you are gonna, you know, yaw. Yeah. Or sorry, yaw. Then that, well, I guess it's, just, it's more like this side, but if you go pitch forward and let go in in your air or the uh, stable mode, it'll, it'll keep going like that. When you let go of the stick, it'll stay stable. Yeah. In the, in the mode that I fly now, it's called uh, acro mode. Acro mode. Acro mode is the best way to learn a fly because you don't have to have to trim trim anything out or anything. So every set stick movement, it stays its attitude. So I let go, it's gonna stay that attitude, right? So then I'm just basically making fine adjustments from there. Yeah. To be able to manipulate myself in the air. You know what I mean? Well, there is a lot to learning curve to play no, this. No, it, it was. You know what? I mean, being an auto mechanic and I mean, dude, I built motorcycles from scratch. Cars from